Good morning, people. I'm going to welcome you to MBKI's Broadcasting Network and the Word of the Day. Today, we're going to be talking about intentions and impulse. We come to find that many of us are living our lives on impulse and not so much on um, intention. How many of you are doing things that you intended to do? Or you may find yourself doing things by impulse, by reaction. Uh, here, let me put it like this. How many of you go to the store to get one thing, you come out with 12 things? How many of you uh, may be driving down the street and you see a Starbucks and you, you pull into the Starbucks to get a coffee? How many of you go online and you're just kind of surfing the web and the next thing you know, you've bought two or three things? These are things that are done on impulse, not intention. You had no, uh, 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 what's the word I want to use, um, calculated uh, 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 decision to do such a thing. It's just something that happened. Amen. So let's ask ourselves this question here. Uh, is your day-by-day -day life driven by primary impulses? Are intentions. Does your thoughts tend to uh, be more impulsive or intentions are your decisions? Are you moving on impulse more than the intentions? Amen. Hallelujah. Do you know many of us, we say, you know, well, I intended on doing this, but I did that. It, this was not my intentions to do this or to say this or whatever the case may be. What happens is we find that we are doing more things on impulse than intent. Ask yourself, how are you living your life on impulses or intentions? How many of you get up in the morning and plan out your day and follow the plan that you planned by intentions, amen? Or do you wake up and just however the day goes, however the wind blows, you're gonna go along with it by your impulses, amen? You see, when you're living for Christ, you must live by intention because it's through your intention that you're able to follow the will of God. The Bible says don't look to your left or look to your right but look straight ahead. But when you're living by impulse, you can't look straight ahead. You're looking all over the place. And whatever feels good, that's the direction, that's the thing that we are going to do. Amen? Hallelujah. Here's some things that we can do if we are living by impulse that will help. Slow down. Slow down. Any car that's going 100 miles an hour, the only way that it's going to stop is by slamming on the brakes or crashing. How many of you guys crashed and burned or had to slam on the brakes of your life? Amen, hallelujah. Or think for yourself. That's number two, think for yourself. Don't let the outside world dictate what you're going to do on your day to day, amen? If you have an intention to do such a thing, stick to that intention. You know, the horses, they used to put these things on horses like this to where they have tunnel vision. They couldn't see to the left or to the right. All they could see is straight ahead. This is how we need to be as believers in Christ, looking at Christ, looking at his intention, looking at the direction he wants us to go, living by his will, living by his way. One of the things that we will see is that the Bible says that we all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. When we fall into that type of uh, position, we have gotten on the throne. We have taken and put God below and put ourselves above and begin to do things outside of the will of God by impulse. Amen. But God has given us the opportunity to lay ourselves back on the altar and ask for forgiveness. Amen. Glory be to God. So the scripture reading of today we're going to be looking at is in 
Romans chapter 12, verse 1, it says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. So it says that we should present our bodies a living sacrifice. What that means is we need to stay on the altar. We need to die on a day-to-day, to-day-to-day basis to ourselves so that we're able to live a life for Christ. You can't live for Christ if you are living a life full of impulse. However, Whatever, we must live by intention. Intention of what? Intention of the word. If we stay focused upon the word and moving as the word says move, not looking to the left or the right, hallelujah, we may find that our lives may turn out a lot better than what they are now. People of God, are you living your life by impulse or intention? My name is Apostle Anthony Baxter, and I just pray that you receive the word of God and apply it into your life. Live by intentions, not impulse. We'll see you soon. God bless you.